Welcome to Singapore Office Supplies. I'm Ronald and would like to congratulate you on your decision to get your hands on the Futaba 18SZ or the 16SZ. FYI, the 18SZ and the 16SZ shares similar software. So for the sake of this video, we will just be touching on the 18SZ. So let's unbox the 18SZ and see what we have. First off, we have the manual, the neck strap, some sponge to secure the battery, the Li Fei 2100 milliamp battery, comes with the receiver R708. The charger for the transmitter, a switch harness, a mini driver, and last but not least, the 18SZ. So before we begin, let's uh, put in the battery, get it fully charged, remove the battery cover. So the battery connector. Let's turn on the power to the charger and when it's not connected, this is the green. The moment we plug into the 18SZ as it's charging, the LED of the charger will be red. When the LED turns green, it means that the battery for the 18SZ is fully charged. Now that the 18SZ is fully charged, let's turn it on and check the system firmware to see if it's the latest. To turn on the 18SZ, two ways. One is to double press both buttons or to have a long press on the single button. To turn it off is the same way. To check the firmware, we go into system manual, information, and we see that the version currently is 3.6J. As we speak on this uh, video right now, the latest firmware is 3.7. So this gives, gives us the opportunity to demonstrate the update of the firmware for the 18SZ. We turn it off. Next, we save the firmware 3.7 into the SD card. Insert the SD card into the SD card slot. Next, to activate the firmware update, we will press the left button here, which says home slash exit. Press it and we turn it on. As you can see, it shows updating main program. Next, it is updating resource data. This will take a couple of minutes. It's almost done. Completed. So, the monitor light turns green. Shows completed. Then we're ready to turn it off and turn on again. Go into system manual, information, 
and now the version is 3.7e. The 18SZ has been updated to the latest firmware. Now that we have uh, fully charged the 18SZ and we have updated to the latest firmware, we are ready to begin the basic setup for the glider. Do like our videos if you enjoyed what we shared during the session. Feel free to comment if you have any suggestions or you have tried what we have shared during the session. If you like to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.